working from home today. Hi love bugs, welcome to my channel. It's PZ Lou here. If you're new, welcome to the love bug family. On my channel, we talk about all things positive, creating the life you desire, the law of attraction, and as of late, attracting specific people because that's the emails I keep getting. People just want to me to make these videos about attracting a specific person so here we are again today today's video is about making your lover ex-lover or whoever is in your life right now like miss you um so i have seven tips for you today about this topic that's going to help you make that person miss you and kind of just regain your strength and your confidence in who you are so that you're not really like dwelling on whether this person is missing you or hitting you up etc and and so on and and so forth so before we begin today guys please be sure to like this video if you like this content and you want more videos like this please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because we got a lot of stuff going on as of late i got tons of like content that i want to record i've just been working so much at my other job as a matter of fact i was supposed to be there today but i just wasn't really feeling well and feeling up to it um but now i feel good so i decided to go ahead and make this video for stephanie stephanie whatever anyway i got an email from stephanie <laughs> With three E's. <laughs> I got an email from Stephanie asking me to make a video about um, making your lover miss you. So this can be for guys and for girls. My tips, I have seven tips for you today. Let's go ahead and jump into it. My first tip for you guys today is to stop obsessing over this person. Like, stop obsessing over this person that's acting differently, right? Because if they're, if you want them to miss you, something probably happened where you know you feel like the relationship that you guys have together is you know not really going the way that you that it was before and the person is acting differently you really just have to stop obsessing over the fact that this person is acting differently um because it happens in this life and we're all human um so stop trying to figure it out stop trying to figure it out and change things about yourself and stop trying to find the solution. I know on my channel sometimes I talk about being solution focused and not being problem focused, but this is a situation where you don't want to be solution focused. You just kind of want to kick back and chill. So don't obsess over the fact that this guy is acting differently or this girl is acting differently and stop trying to figure it out. Stop trying to find solution for it. Just like literally like do you. Because if you call this person, this guy or this girl and you're like, hey, I feel like something's wrong or something's different I feel like you're acting differently like what can I do to fix it it's literally going to push that person away even more like oh my god this guy or girl keeps calling me and I really like like her or him but it's just like dang like give me some space give me a chance to like like you back you know so don't obsess over the fact that you feel like your relationship might be different or you feel like the vibe isn't there anymore just kind of like chill don't call the person and be like what can i do to fix it oh my god because that just like sends out signs of desperation and nobody wants to be with the person that's desperate you want it to be like a mutual beneficial relationship not like a desperate relationship you know what i mean so just like chill do you don't call the person and try to fix it just like relax you really got to just like act as if everything is great because the more you act as if everything is great and the more you put things out to the universe about how you want it to be then it's going to come to you so instead of calling that guy or that girl like what's going on how can i fix it just be more like in your head or write it down like oh i'm so happy and grateful that you know we got back to on track and we're like feeling each other again and we're having fun again you know just make it light and simple don't obsess and don't exaggerate and don't be that person that's like always calling 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 because if you've realized and if you've experienced this before when somebody's calling 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 it just turns you off you don't want to talk to them Ooh, duh you know my second tip today is to don't agree to this person's last minute plans i actually could listen to my own advice on this um, in the past, uh, but whatever, we're in the present right now. But don't agree to last minute plans. I know you're like been waiting for this person to call you or text you and you wanna get things back on track and they're like, hey, what are you doing like right now? Like, let's go and do this. Let's go grab food. Let's go to the happy hour. Let's go to the bar, whatever it is. Let's go to this movie. Like as much as you want to 
go and do this thing with this person just don't agree to their last plans why because when their last plans don't agree to their last minute plans why because when you agree to someone's last minute plans it's showing them that you're still available for them you got to be a little bit unattainable it's showing them showing them that you're still available for them and that you're not really like they're so important like you're just going to cancel whatever it is that you were going to do or maybe you didn't have anything to do and you're just going to go home and like have a me day whatever it is don't subscribe you can subscribe to my channel haha <laughs> do that but don't subscribe to what this person is throwing at you last minute even though you might want to so much and so bad and just be like yeah let's go hang out just don't do it you need to let them know that you have your own life and just because they hit you up last minute and they've been thinking about you which is great that's like a good path to like start this journey for you guys that wanted to see this video but like just have a little strength and just smile and be like oh my god like they're thinking about me now and they want to hang out now but be like no no mother mm-hmm like nope sorry i have plans already i wish you would have hit me up earlier or a few days ago or whatever it might be and we could have done this but right now i have plans and so i can't hang out with you today i wish i could but i can't so maybe next time and you always want to like have that maybe next time so they have like some type of hope like hey we definitely can like still hang out but just not today because you hit me up like 10 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes before you wanted to go and do this thing um and i got plans i'm busy be a little unattainable don't be like right there for them because when you're right there for them that just takes away all the mystery out of a relationship you want to always feel challenged in a relationship you want to feel like you're trying to get something and you got it and you want to enjoy it then you don't want to feel like oh this person's always here and we can just always do whatever whenever i pop up they're available like you don't want to be that girl or that guy you feel me um so my third tip today is don't call or text first oh i know it's just like it's been four days or five days and i really just want to talk to this person i know they're going to be excited to hear from me because we usually talk all day long but now it's been four or five days and i just want to text them no don't do it just don't do it because right when you were thinking about doing it they were probably thinking about doing it and then you text first and they're like oh there they go again hitting me up uh, no don't do it let them hit you up first and i'm not saying ignore this person like you guys can talk all day long but let them hit you up first like especially if you're a girl like you're the cat the guy is a dog like they're supposed to chase you you know and no disrespect to my fellas not saying that you know this is always the situation because it's not you know sometimes it's a guy trying to get the girl some some girls have like a lot of male mentalities because they've been through things before and they're like no fuck excuse me f that guy or f guys in general and i'm gonna do what i want to do when i want to do it. and i mean it's a new dawn and a new day and a new age so obviously you know there are more females like this but the point is is wh whether you're a male or a female just don't text and call first let that person like want to miss you if you're not giving them a chance to miss you then what are you doing like you don't want to just be in a relationship where you're always the one to initiate everything like you want to kind of just like chill kick back and like do your own thing like this person is not your life you are your life like take care of you and do things for you and don't just always be worrying about this other person i know it's easier said than done like i'm a human being myself and i have feelings and there's certain you know guys that you know i might have feelings for or girls it doesn't really matter speaking of which i have on like my ex's t-shirt right now i have a lot of his clothes but it doesn't really matter i'm not like trying to get my ex back we do have a great friendship but that's neither here nor there but the point is is not to text and call first all the time and when i'm not saying ignore them i'm just saying don't always text and call first you know what I mean like just kind of create a little bit of mystery like oh what's she doing she's not hitting me up or oh what's he's doing he's not hitting me up like just chill a little bit and create a little bit of mystery and go about your life and go about your day and I guarantee you you're gonna feel better anyway you're gonna feel better because you decided to go and do things that you love and you're not like sitting here thinking about this person you know what I mean and just like when they hit you up hit them back but not like immediately like silence is golden sometimes like 
you want to respond but you don't want to sit there you don't want it to seem like hey i'm sitting here waiting by my phone right now like when are you gonna call and text me like call and text me oh he's texting me right now okay even though i didn't call or text back he texts me first but here i am yeah hi like you just relax a little bit show that you're a little bit unattainable and like you got your own life going on and you're not sitting waiting by your phone waiting for that call or text you feel me um silence is golden silence like speaks more than words speak and you just gotta like relax and chill a little bit guys okay that bring have a little patience be patient what is that patience is a virtue you know um my fourth tip today i kind of already talked about it a little bit is like reclaim reclaim your social life in my past videos i talk a lot about like do the things you love like go and listen to music go out with your friends go to bars go to museums go do things that you love whatever it is that you love go and do those things and reclaim your social life because it's gonna make you feel so much better you're gonna not be thinking about that person you're gonna be doing things that you absolutely love and adore to do and it's gonna make you feel great and high vibrations always brings back high vibration things like the more you put out into the world that stuff's gonna come back to you so if you're feeling really good and you're feeling amazing you're feeling happy and you're feeling joyful then happy joyful amazing things are gonna come back to you you get it you know it's like really not as hard as it seems guys like just kind of like reclaim your social life and do things that you love you guys already know what i love to do and i go to do and so i don't need to reiterate that in that video unless you're new but you can look at some of my older videos about attracting a specific person or attracting confidence or being happy and um a lot of it just has to do with doing things that you love like doing things that you love that make you feel good because when you feel good great things happen and great things happen to you and they keep coming so um reclaim your social life um do what you love do something new do something that you always wanted to do that you haven't done like go and do that instead of like thinking about this person like hitting you up because like really they're just not as important as you you came into this world alone you're gonna die alone so and this person might not even be in your life a couple months from now and so like don't trip too much like you know hindsight is 2020 20, but you know we're in the present now but whatever um my fifth tip today is to post on social media i've said it before in attracting confidence and specific people videos but like when you post on social media when you're actually having fun and i don't mean like don't make like fake posts or like pretend like you're having fun or whatever but really when you're like in the moment and you're having fun with your friends or if, if you're having fun on your own and you took yourself out on a date or whatever it is that you're doing like post that on social media and show like hey like i don't need you it would be nice to have you next to me but guess what i don't need you because i don't need you to have fun with i don't i can have fun by on my own i can have fun with my co-workers i can have fun with my friends and post that on social media and like show the world that hey like i do my own thing like i don't need no man or woman like i do this like i'm fun i'm having fun i can do what i want to do you know um so i mean if you're a social media type girl or guy and you're having some fun show the world like you know show the world some of your high vibrations and like the things that you're doing like it's not a bad thing it's a great thing show them because you don't need anybody else especially a significant other to make you feel a certain way about yourself just go and have fun on your own because you don't need them hello um that brings me to my what is it fifth tip no sixth tip raise your standards and create some boundaries so this one's just a little bit more like serious like you want to set boundaries like if somebody feels like oh i can get away with this with him or her i can get i've got away with it before like oh last time i was talking texting another girl or whatever right in front of her face she didn't really like do anything so i'm gonna keep doing it or last time this or that happened and blah 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 um you know they dealt with it so i'm gonna keep doing it i'm gonna get away with it no you need to set some boundaries like hey i'm not dealing with that and guess what it's this easy for me to walk away if you don't want to hang out with me then cool no love lost but i'm like out of here bye and it's just that simple like you really need to set boundaries you really just need to set boundaries for yourself and raise your standards and know what it is that you really want do you really want to be around a guy or girl that's like texting other guys and girls while you're next to them probably 
not unless you're like into that kind of thing whatever but the point is is to show them and tell them like sometimes like i might be with a guy and he's texting like another girl or whatever and it's just like oh, okay i don't really care but it kind of sends mixed messages like oh, okay i can get away with this from her I'll get away with this while i'm while i'm with her but in my head i'm just like i really just don't care like i might not even talk to you ever again like who cares like my life is just so important and I just don't care enough that you're texting somebody else bye like there's so many other people that are interested in me hello you really just gotta like you know regain your confidence and stuff and uh, set some boundaries and just not be that guy or girl that just like deals with things and like gets ran over you don't want to be a carpet that somebody walks on because they'll just keep walking on that thing until they need to buy a new one if you feel me if you get me you know um and so that brings me to my is it my last tip yeah my very last tip is to make this mother sucker sweat like what would it feel like if i wasn't in your life like what would it feel like if you didn't have me to like run over and like fall back on like you know what i mean like make them fear what it's like if you weren't in their life like oh you know like PZ like she's so great and she's so nice and she's so sweet and you know she's caring and she's loving and she's there what would it be like if like she wasn't there oh my god like you know she doesn't make me pay for things all the time and she makes me feel like I'm wanted and she gives me all this attention and then I'm like bye mm, what bye there's so many other people like out on this world and so sometimes you just gotta like make a guy or a girl sweat and make them realize what it would be like if you weren't around because if you weren't around then they might have to deal with other people and then they go and like hang out with somebody else and they're like dang like I was tripping like maybe I should have just been like chilling with only him or her because this new person that I'm hanging out with is just like not it you know so um Please try try a couple of these seven tips. I guarantee you, if you try them, that the person that you want to miss you or crave you or your ex or whoever it is, or even if it's, I mean, whoever it is, like I guarantee you that these tips will work. This video was a little bit longer than expected, but I feel like it was a pretty like beneficial video. If you're really trying to make somebody miss you or really trying to like get somebody um, like back in your life or whatever, and I hope it works out for you. Especially you Stephanie who emailed me and asked me to make a video about making someone miss you um, and um, try these tips and if you try these tips and you feel them working please comment down below and tell us your success stories I'd really love to hear your success stories not only that but the fellow love bugs would probably you know be encouraged if they realize that these things work for you please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this video and you like this content and you want to hear more and please 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 email me at PC one at gmail.com if you have any video suggestions I know I haven't been posting as much as I want to post but again I do have a full-time job that I do besides YouTube and sometimes a girl is just tired but anyway I'm really happy to be here as always making videos for you guys please be sure to subscribe again if you haven't already hit the bell notification so you can be um, aware and notified of every time I post a video and until the next time love bugs bye